All right, gang, part two of the Nebula build starts now. Hope you're having fun with it. I certainly did. Okay, it's time to run the inventory. So let me get a pen. And we'll go through here. Okay, 18 meter pull. That's a check. Ground plate, three millimeter aluminum. Aluminium. So here is the ground plate and the driven plate. So ground plate, check. Driven plate or radiation plate. Five UHMWPE spreader plates. So I have one in this package and one, two, three, four with the two way here. So that's a total of five. SO239 assembly with flying lead. Well, I don't know if it flies, but it certainly is here. There you go. SO239 with flying lead. Appropriate number of stainless bolts. Appropriate number of stainless wing nuts. Well, let's find out. That's one, two, three, eight. So I need eight for the driven. Although I think one of those is supposed to be empty. And then one, ten, fifteen for the radiator. Let's find 15 bolts and 15 wing nuts. So there's 15 for the driven. Okay, so we have eight bolts for the driven plate. And now let's find some wing nuts before I get ahead of myself. Okay, 15. Okay, so that's gonna go over to over here for the ground eight okay so appropriate number of stainless bolts wing nuts got stainless bolts got the wing nuts fork connectors for the ground plate <coughs> this is going to get difficult because they're different than the fork connectors for the driven plate so let me see if I can find some and show the difference side by side. And ba best to say I can make out, these are all the same size. Let me make sure that I'm not, if you guys will be able to see that, but through 12 through 20, 55, 5.5 through 6S. All right, I went through and checked all these forks. They're all the same size. Even though the guide says that they're two different sizes, they're all the same size. Uh, so... My guess is that Callum, in order to simplify his life, you know, and the, and the build process itself, uh, got rid of one skew and went with just one type of fork connector on all this. Okay, so let me check that box because I have more than enough fork connectors. Host clamps. But thankfully these bags also have a packing list in them. So I'm just going to go with this packing list. Uh, to verify that the that the hose clamps I have are the hose clamps I'm supposed to have. Too small, too medium, too large, small, medium, large. So then these must be the XLs, three triple XLs. One, I mean the three double XL, and then one triple XL. Okay, so hose clamps are check. I got enough rubber tubing here to beat the band and then shock cord a spool of mass trend plastic carabiners to snap together there's a heap of them in here glue line shrink wrap yep it's there lots of it and if in the highly unlikely event that it's not enough i have plenty of it of my own 400 meters of antenna wire which i have in the box i'm not going to pull it out here so my inventory is complete I get my checklist marked off as inventory complete. Okay. Now that the inventory is done, since I don't want to put all this stuff back in the bag, you know, loose, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and assemble the uh, ground plate and the driven plate. At the very least, I'm going to put the nuts in them and then uh, nuts, washers, and uh, wing nuts. And just like that, the bolts and are on the plates, and the wing nuts and the washers are on them. Uh, fun fact, 
what you need is a 10 millimeter socket or wrench or you can also use a metric uh, crescent wrench either one will work so 10 mil socket or wrench or a 10 mil crescent wrench next i'm going to label the plate with the uh, the ribbon plates with the, ele uh, the the element um, type it is and i'm going to do the same thing for all these uh, uhmwpe whatever the heck they are uh, plates i'm going to label them for what element is going to go in them all right so the plate is marked up as are the spreader plates other than this one because i mean come on if i need to mark this one then i'm i need a lot of help so Callum's a smart man he knows that we're impatient idiots and he made sure to note it in two places you need to do this uh, he noted it on the destructions over here and he noted it on more destructions inside of the package uh, that's separate you know that has the flying lead separated on it so uh, instead of trying to peel it just grab a corner with a nail or a bit of a nail and just peel the corner off and then that'll generate enough excuse my voice folks I am battling the uh, human malware virus right now I don't know about you but I've screwed up plenty of PL259 uh, connections that I've, you know, I've tend to make and then mess them up and then just cut it and you try it again and so on and so forth. And I don't know about you, but I've kept a couple of those mainly because these things can come in handy at times. And this is one of the times I'm just going to use it as a means to grab that connector without damaging the connector. So I'm just going to thread that on. Oh, and by the way, this, uh, this nut is a three quarters. Uh, or you can use a standard crescent wrench, not a metric one, a standard one. And then if you need a little bit extra oomph, same deal with the self-amalgamating tape this time. Again, I'm just going to so get this closer up here so you can see it. I'm just going to put my nail down on it and drag. And maybe I grabbed a little too much. There you go. Just like that, now I can peel off. I'll test it with a multimeter just to make sure there's continuity there, but other than that, good enough for the girls I go out with. I went looking for the install the SO239 flying lead into the ground plate checklist item and it isn't there so i added it at the top and now of course now that i've completed it i can shade it in and that wraps up part two of the nebula build part three in a few days catch you guys then